McKinney ISD Board of Trustees President Bobby Amick clarifies that the bond has not received any massive changes, but simply a shift in costs. We're essentially uh, uh, in an increase in cost due to the cost of, of uh, concrete and gone up dramatically. With the bonds plans beginning, Amick explains when the projects are to be completed. The entirety of the bond uh, will be phased in over the next five years. In this district, we typically uh, approve projects on a five-year basis. Chief Communications and Support Services Officer Cody Cunningham and Superintendent Dr. Rick McDaniel say that they are aware of the media attention the bond has received and that they advise the community to focus on the bond's main goals. We knew from the beginning we were going to get media attention. I think when you propose a project like a stadium, especially if it's a really nice stadium, um, it tends to attract attention. They might try to convince you that the majority of this bond has always just been about a stadium. Keep in mind that the stadium is a small part of this $220 million of improvements we have district-wide. With an overwhelming majority of voters approving the bond, Amick says that he is not only thankful but excited to gain support from those who initially voted against it. To those who oppose it, um, I would uh, invite them to, to come on board uh, to take a look at some of the changes uh, after they've been implemented. If you would like more information on the bond, visit McKinneyISD.net. This has been Sarah Taylor for NTV.